welcome on the hands on time. So the topic of today is about both of these watches, the Tevis uh, T801A. So Tevis is a brand that is coming um, to us from China. So they are making a lot of watches, but the most famous of the bunch is this one because it is the cheapest uh, Rolex Marina homage that you can find actually uh, uh, on the market and one of the best one, if not the best one of the bunch, of the cheapest, I mean. Okay, so that's it for the brand. The cost. How uh, much will you pay uh, for this watch? Maximum 18 euros here in France on uh, AliExpress on the TV's um, official store. Okay, and I recommend you to go on the official store to buy uh, your watch because I did not and I have some trouble because I think that TV's is selling uh, their defects to other sellers and they are selling back to you. So go and uh, purchase them on the official store. Don't make uh, my mistake. That's an advice. So yeah, that's it for the cost. The specs. What are the specs uh, of this watch? Well, let's find out. I have this instrument. They are pretending that the case size would be 43. Is it the case? No, it's not. As you can see, it's 42, 47. Okay, so that's uh, good news because, uh, well, 43 is a big size. Okay, so what is the size of the band? The band is 20. As you can see, 1934 or 20. It is 20. Let me fix it for you. As you can see, 20. Okay, so that's for the band size. Let's see about the thickness. Let me put out the blue one off the NATO strap. Boom. So what about the thickness? The thickness would be 1459. 1459.58. Yeah. For the thickness. So they're pretending it's 14. It's not. You see 14.58, uh, which stands high. Okay, sadly, for um, a watch. What else can I uh, say about the specs? The crystal is mineral, okay? It is it is mineral crystal, it's not sapphire by any means. The bezel, you have a bezel, unidirectional bezel, 60 clicks, okay? A 60 clicks bezel, unidirectional. You have also a cyclop, okay? Let me focus, as you can see. You have a Cyclops that magnifies uh, the date complication pretty well. And you have all the ingredients of um, the Rolex Marina, the Mercedes hand style, the triangle at the 12 o'clock, the bezel already set it, uh, stainless steel, everything is stainless steel. On these watches, you also have a signed crown, okay? You have a see-through case back with a Tonji movement inside. It's a snap-on. Okay, and you have a Tonji movement inside. I already talked about the Tonji on other videos. The Tonji movement is the movement of the, the Popular Republic of China. In the past, because of communism, they wanted to have one movement and they created this Tonji movement. So the Tonji movement, you have good Tonjis, bad Tonjis, different grades of Tonjis. And uh, that one is pretty good, pretty accurate. But the rotor, as you can see, has some trouble to move. But thank God, we have a hand winding system. Okay, you can hand wind it to recharge um, the movement. And uh, they are saying that the movement will last for 36 hours. Okay, 36 hours. So obviously it does not come with the NATOs that um, you saw before, but it comes with this, some bracelets. And even the logos, I don't know if you see them on the camera, they are not the same. So. Apparently they have different batches of the watch. Uh, I've heard that now in 2021 they have a new one. So maybe the new one is better. Pfft, I don't know. So it's chromed in the middle and brushed on the sides. On the sides. Okay. Oyster style bracelet. Um, push pin. Push pin system. As you can see. Pretty generic. Not of a great quality. And hollow uh, handlings. The handlings are hollow. So I think that that's, that's good. 
the good and the bad. So what's good about this watch? We are going to start by the good. Well, the price. You will be able to buy yourself a Rolex Submariner Homage that is uh, not looking that ugly for 18 euros okay or 18 dollars if you want uh, so that's the good things um, about this watch and also the dial Tavis does wonderful dials on this watch it, it is all about the dial honestly okay so yeah beautiful dial you see the sunburst I'm gonna show you the sunburst on on the other one as you can see so that's for uh, the good things and you have a good movement the movement is pretty accurate it's not a, it's not a bad movement so um, let's talk about the bad things and there there are a lot of bad things about this watch so as you can see the bezel you have a lot of back play the back play is crazy on this bezel okay so I'm gonna show it to you on the other one to prove it to you it's the same on every watches as you can see the quality control of the watch really isn't good as you can see the loom pip is already gone and I haven't done nothing to you know I took care of these watches and <laughs> poop it popped out of the watch just like that so uh, quality control not so good listen to this the bezel is not even like well mounted on the base that uh, is not flat enough and it creates this sound and to prove it to you I'm gonna show you the other one huh, it's even worse you see so that's another problem uh, what else can I say on this watch the cyclop was um, not well aligned I had to remove it burn it uh, put some tape around it burn it and um, remove it with um, a razor blade because that's how you do it so uh, I've done it well but uh, yeah no more cyclops um, cyclop on this one as you can see there is a cyclop it's supposed to magnify the, um, the date complication okay so this is off now what else uh, can I say about this watch so I talked about the bezel oh yeah the stiffness guys the stiffness when I had this what these watches I don't know if um, that that's because they they were coming from another seller and they kept it for years and years uh, in their uh, facilities but it was stiff as I could not turn uh, the crown and I wasn't able to set up the watch properly okay so I found out the solution the solution was simply you open this you see here the hole of the stem you put one drop of a really fluid synthetic oil I put the one that comes with my groom with my grooming device you know to shave my beard etc we all men have um, a device that uh, allows us to you know to equalize our mustache or and they are giving you some oil okay don't put some w, WD 40 or some sick oil a really fluid synthetic oil one drop and voila magic smooth again okay so that uh, also uh, was a problem so I think that that's it for the troubles um, I forgot to tell you that this watch the Rolex Submariner Submariner Mariner you know you're supposed to swim with it well with this one forget it 30 meters of resistance okay of water resistance uh, it is nothing okay only 30 meters of water resistance so you you will not be able to to swim with this watch <laughs> even if it's a Rolex Marina homage you you just have to forget it so look at the text here perlative seronometer officially certified it's supposed to be superlative chronometer officially certified and here it's superlative seronometer what does that mean on the other one surprise look at this superlative chronometer officially certified so you see two different batches of the watch I'm trying to zoom it here yeah as you can see that's weird okay so they had the text right on one and um, and not on the other so yeah I think that that's it for um, for the bad things and uh, as you can see there, there are a lot of problems on this watch so how do I wear this watch so this watch is so cheap and so um, uh, badly um, 
done in the conception that I wear it only for casual times, okay? Only for casual times, like a walk in the park, uh, going out to put my trash um, out of, um, of, um, of my flat, you know, things like that. It is so cheap. I mean, you, you cannot wear this watch in serious events, okay? So it's only a casual watch. That's what it is. And for what it is, it's not bad, okay? But it's only, it's only purpose is, uh, is casual, I'm afraid. So how about a wrist shot? There you go. After the bone, I'm 17 centimeters of circumference after the bone. I was 16 before, I'm now 17. I don't know why. Maybe I eat too much, I don't think so. Maybe I, I left too much weight. So you see, it stands really, really high. Even on the sides, let me show you the sides, you see? And I don't have big wrists. So in front, it looks good. But on the sides, God, it's high. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the wrist shots. And there you go, guys, the loom shot. So as you can see, the loom, don't be fooled by the excellent job of the DSLR. The loom is absolutely uneven. If you look at the 12 o'clock, the 12 o'clock, the loom is well applied. And if you look at the other dots, it's really not the same, it's uneven. Okay, the um, loom peep is already fading and it is really poor. That's a poor loom. Uneven, doesn't last long, really poor. There you go for the loom shot. So now guys, let's take a moment. In front, the sides, the sides. The dial. Tavis does wonderful dials. As you can see, beautiful dial, beautiful sunburst. The other side. Let's take the other one. The dial of the blue one that is actually not blue but purple. Okay, if you want some blue, take another one because that one is purple inside, it's not blue. The sides again. The back. And on that one, the right text. So that, that's it for the moment. So guys, what are my final thoughts about this watch? Should I uh, recommend it to you? Uh, should I advise you to purchase it? Well, if you're really tight on the budget, yes, okay, go for it. If you need um, uh, only a casual watch, okay, or a beating watch or things like this, you know, you can, you can buy that, this watch, you know, it's okay. I mean, $18, who cares? But if um, you can put a little bit more of money, uh, I'm thinking about 55 euros, guys, 55 euros. You can buy yourself uh, the L'Oreal uh, Rolex Marino homage that is way better than this one, okay? Way better. So, would I buy it today? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's too cheap. There's a lot of problem with this watch. And uh, no, I, I would not buy this watch again in my life. When um, both of these watch dies, I'm gonna trash them. That's where they will end up in the nib, you know, and nowhere else. So, um, do I advise you to buy it? If you're really tight on the budget, yes. If you're not, forget it. There's way better on the market. Even if it's cheap, you know, you have that L'Oreal Rolex Marino homage that is actually in a serious watch. 
and a beautiful watch, way better than this one, which, uh, and you will be able to swim with it. Okay, so the L'Oreal Rolex Marina is on my channel, just go check it out. So that's it guys, um, subscribe, okay, comment, uh, like, if you want to buy me a coffee, uh, that helps, okay, the um, link is in the description, and take care of you with um, all the trouble that we have today uh, on, um, in the world with the COVID-19 and all the Indians in India that are dying, you know, uh, hard, hard times that we are living today. Okay, so take care of you and see you in the next one.